Um, and we've seen so much violence against these protesters. All the neocons are mocking them, saying, oh, what did you think decolonization meant? Avocado toast? Uh, as if they have ever stood up against any powerful force. I mean, that's the reason they're neocons, is they're just weak children who want to be on the side of power. Uh, whereas these protesters are taking enormous amounts of violence and doing, and, un, uh, and they understand what they're getting into, not just from the police, but we saw, and I mean, we should kind of revisit this. The violence that took place at UCLA was vigilante violence, obviously sanctioned by the police through a police stand down where the police disappeared for four minutes while Zionist hooligans fired off volleys of Dodger Stadium level. Fire. This was like the artillery at the beginning of their assault. You would think by that point the police would have uh, come in, but no. Uh, they allowed the mob to just beat peaceful protesters with pipes. And so far there's been no arrests, no arrests at all. Um, we know who many of these people are. This is the LA times to find masked mob members who attack UCLA camp. Police are using January six tactics. And you can see, I mean, why do we need January six tactics to find out who these people are? We know who they are. Um, UCLA detectives are now scanning hundreds of images in an attempt to identify the attackers. They intend to use technology that captures facial images and compares them to other photos on the internet and social media to put names to faces, according to law enforcement sources. Same tech technology was used to arrest everyone around January 6th. One person they're bringing in, uh, I notice in this piece, I'm scrolling to find it, is, uh, yeah, on Tuesday, UC President Michael Drake said 21st century policing solutions will lead the independent investigation of the actions that led to violence on the UCLA campus. And that last week, the firm is led by Charles Ramsey, former Philly police commissioner and ex-chief of the Washington, D.C. Metropolitan Police, who was chair of Obama's task force on 21st century policing. Charles Ramsey is someone who is actually trained in Israel like so many of these cops. I mean, this is a farce. I know it because I, you know, I'm from DC. I lived here. I remember when the cops, they started flashing their sirens everywhere they went. They still do it now. And it's good for me. Like when I'm a motorist, I'm like, all right, I know where the cops are when I want to do like a rolling stop or whatever. Um, but they do it to project uh, deterrence and force. And that happened after Charles Ramsey returned from his first trip to Israel because the Israeli police do that everywhere. So it's an Israeli tactic. So you have someone who's trained in and by Israel leading an investigation into a Zionist mob. I have my suspicions about this. And, you know, at the gray zone, we have obtained a dossier that UCLA students put together matching the faces to the names of the attackers. Um, that's why I say these figures are known as are um, several of those who sort of racially harassed the students the day before. I mean, we all know who they are. No one's been arrested. So, um, you know, and one, of, one of these students who was shown the following day walking around campus with pepper spray, kind of harassing uh, Gaza encampment protesters was just on Dr. Phil. He was just interviewed by Dr. Phil. So, it, I mean, I don't know why they need a January 6th response. They're just this, they're just uh, delaying. It's a joke, a complete joke. Um, meanwhile, I don't know if there's anything you want to add here, Aaron. I mean, you'd... well, that dossier, have you published that yet at the Gray Zone? We're working on a piece. Uh, okay. okay. We're waiting okay. on a Wyatt Reed piece. Okay. Well, I look forward to that one. Yeah. Um, it, it's very clinically done and very convincing. And it was sent to University of California Police Department, the UCLA police who stood down for four hours. It was sent to the Daily Bruin. It was sent to the LA Times. It was sent to Mayor Karen Bass, who said she's going to track these people down. Um, but what what's happened? The same thing so far that happened to the two former Israeli soldiers who sprayed Columbia students with some kind of toxic skunk spray 
months ago, sending 15 students to the emergency room. Um, nothing, absolutely nothing. They haven't even been kicked off campus. One of them actually participated in the Gaza genocide. So we're just like, we're importing genocide zombies to campus to carry out these attacks and the cops can't do anything about it.